Susan. <laughs> well, okay, anyway, so we're actually. having some ramen noodles, you know, our specialty for out here. There it is. It's uh, steeping. Let's see how it how it's going. We've gone to our more minimalist cooking program. Getting ready for Iceland, where we have to be the traveling as light as we can. Hiking is happiness at 60 means you may go a little bit a little bit shorter distance. We won't go as far. And we'll try and carry less stuff. But we still are out there doing it. We're still going to do it. So we just have to alter what we can do a little bit. But we're going to still be out there doing it. As long as we can. Susan bought a brand new cup, so I'm sure she wants to make sure she eats out of hers. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> yeah. Is there a is there a towel in that that wipe that bag? So I'm gonna have turkey tetrazzini. I think I've brought it every time we've gone backpacking for the last. This is the fourth time and haven't eaten it, so it's time to eat. Uh, we usually have ramen noodles, and that fills me up. So today we just have one ramen noodle. We'll save one for one before we leave tomorrow. We do have oatmeal, but uh, nice little setup here. The tent is blocking the wind. Water's heating up. Um, I always bring gloves so that when I handle these things, I don't burn myself. It's just, you know, I was in construction in my, in my other, my former life. So gloves were always a big part of that. And uh, Susan, what are you having for dinner? I'm having scrambled uh, eggs. Scrambled with eggs bacon. with bacon. Yep. Wow. And those people are up to, where are they, Susan? Where are those people? Let's see. Where is that? That's Smith Rock. And lo and behold, we can see Smith Rock from here. Obviously not right from here, but from that little rise over there, we were just looking at Smith Rock. It's, I don't know, 30 miles away, but we can see it. So isn't that funny? Let's see what's on mine. Oh, Mount Hood. We can see Mount Hood, too. That picture is from uh, Trillium Lake, I think it's called. Something like that. Trillium Lake, and we can see from that rise over there, we can see both Mount Hood and Smith Rock, where these two photos were taken for the mountain house. How fun! So, yeah, we're doing well. Oh, we're boiling! Hey, look at this tree. It's just hanging on. It's got a little bark connecting itself to its roots. On the bottom, top is just all rotten. There's an ant working on it. But it's trying as best it can to stay alive. I think it's the only part of this tree that's still living. This gnarly old tree. Yep, that's the only piece that's still alive. Putting out pine cones for the next generation. It may not make it another year. Quite a mountain. Still got two, a couple more hours of light. Oh, 
This tree's the same thing. It's got a, just a little bit of life left in it. Some uh, bark coming up. Still alive. Look at this tree, Susan. Just one branch is still alive. It's how it's all curled in. And yeah, that top, that part's gone. Yeah. But this, this bark right here is keeping it alive. That one branch right there. And that's, that's from this tree over here. Oh, it's hooked on too. Wow, amazing. You never, you know, amazing. So I was just taking some photos and I was gonna come around here and take some photos of the sun cups. And I saw a bird take off and she was acting like, she was acting peculiar. And from when I was young, we used to know where every bird nest was. Uh, we knew every bird nest. And so I had a feeling that she had a nest close by and she was trying to lure me away. So I just stopped and looked really closely and I saw her eggs. So we're gonna go over there, take a quick look. So Susan, where's Susan? Susan can see. And then we're gonna get out of there and let her get back to sitting on her nest. So come on with us and let's go. She is nesting right on the ground and she comes up here to get away from predators. I don't know that she's come back. So let's just see. Two eggs. Yeah, take a photo and then let her let's let her come back. That's it. Hmm? They're right on the ground. Yeah, she's she's right on the ground. We came walking right through here. We walked right through here to get up here. I remember these rocks right here. So that's where she's at. She flies up into the mountains and lays her eggs right on the ground because there are no predators up here right now. There's no food. So you won't see any coyotes or bear or anything like that up here now. They're going down into the warmer, down where there's more food. There's just nothing up here. So that was fun. That was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. This is a windy place. Look at the branches on that tree. The wind just blows them. They have to grow in that direction. They can't grow the other direction. Look at this tree. Just struggling. There's no good days for that tree. There's no good days. It's either too hot or too cold or too windy or too dry. That tree just got it rough. So we enjoy coming here. and seeing what is to be seen here, the experience in the moment here. It's the temperature's dropping, it's getting cold. Good thing we have warm clothes. Okay, we're uh, breaking camp. We're gonna be back in a few weeks. So it'll be interesting to take some photos from here and see what the difference in snow is. Uh, we didn't have a fire last night, 
but we've got everything cleaned up. Every all our mess is cleaned up. Just a matter of putting our packs on and donning our gear and and we're off. So again, we're just uh taking away some memories. A few footprints. I'd like to go check on our bird, but I don't want to disturb her. I don't want her to get off her nest. I wonder how she made out. It was pretty cold last night. But good times. Again, successful backpacking trip. We've learned a few things. We're getting ready. We are going to Iceland in less than 40 days. And I'm going to go backpacking there. So we need to really refine our skills so when we get in the middle of iceland up in the highlands we we won't have any problems okay signing off for now hiking is happiness at 60. <laughs>